Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and today I've got a die set here from the Fair Winds collection by Don Wolslagel for Spellbinders and you may have already seen the little a video that I made with the smaller die set which was called Oh Boy it's absolutely gorgeous, it's got these little seagulls and these little uh, wooden posts and the little life ring and whatnot there and I made this beautiful little kit fold card which opens up and has a gorgeous little belly band on it if you haven't already seen that you might want to check it out that will be uh, the link to that one will be down in the description of the video so today i've got set seal and in a future video which i'll be making out actually rather soon i'll be having the guiding light one so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and maybe you're new here and would like to do that don't forget to do that and hit the notification bell you'll see hopefully lots of videos and lots of interesting things that you'll like and um, my affiliate links to everything that i use will be down below in the description of the video and if you do enjoy it, I would really, really love you to leave me a little comment and give the video a big thumbs up as well. That always helps and means that I can come back and share more with you as well. Now, this is a really, really beautiful die set. There's 11 dies in it and you can see on the front of it here what you can do with it. I'm just going to have a really, really quick look here at what's in it and then I'm going to do some die cutting. And on the end of this video here, I added some photographs that I had taken and a couple of little videos maybe of seagulls and bits and pieces and this time I'm going to add some footage of a little sailing trip that I had in Belfast Lock back in September and I know some of my American friends love to see some um, scenery footage of Northern Ireland and I love to share it with you too so just a little bit at the end of the video if you want to hang around for that too. So back to the die set we've got a little boat here and obviously then it can be this little sailing boat if you keep the mast and the sails on or you can take those off and have a little motor boat. So this is the background and then you can add this little boat on. I'm not sure of the names of the parts of a boat, but this part goes on here. These are the sails which go on here and here. And then this is the little piece which goes on the cabin. I think I've got that bit right. <laughs> and then this little stripe goes along here if you want to customise your boat with a different colour on it. Then we've got some waves here and then this would be the white crest of the waves that goes on the top and it's very clearly marked where those go on that lovely die there. These then are clouds which do actually layer up but you can also just use them as uh, greenery or foliage or whatever just by simply cutting them out in different colours and that's really really cute as well. So I am going to do some die cutting. I'm actually going to make a bridge fold card. I've already started it here. So I've got a, it's six inches this way by the full length of an A4 sheet of card. I have scored it in. I've actually been using centimetres, so I have to admit to that I've gone five and ten. And if you want to convert that into inches or whatever, you really only need to have these do exactly the same measurement across here and here as here and here. So that means that they both fold in like this. It doesn't actually matter if they don't fold perfectly into the centre like that because for a bridge fold card, when it's folded closed, it'll actually be like this, because you then need another piece of card, which you'll cut to whatever depth you want. And I've actually cut this from an A4 sheet, so you can see that this was uh, actually attached on here, and I cut this piece off and discarded that bit. And then uh, how I knew where to cut this off was, I fold this piece over, and then just mark the card exactly where that would be there. So it's got to go from this folded edge to that flat edge. So then you'll glue it here and on this edge. And it also then will fold up this way. So the card folds flat for postage. But when those pieces are glued together, it's going to have that profile. So I'm going to do some die cutting now of all these little pieces. And I'll be straight back. I've got lots of die cutting already done. But I want to prepare the background for this one as well. So I've cut a panel that's going to go in here because I want to ink the top of this very, very lightly and I want to put some blue on here. Then I'm going to leave these two side panels clear and I'm going to add little panels onto this as well. So I've cut these. You can see everything that I've marked with an X is the area that is going to have some blue card attached to it. So this piece is actually just a quarter, uh, half a centimetre smaller each, each uh, way around. So it's half a centimetre narrower and half a centimetre shorter. And I've cut it there and this will get inked at the top and blue card on here and then exactly the same here. I've left just a little area right round on both of these and again the bottom half will have the card on which I've already cut. It's exactly the same size. This will go on here and then for my panel that goes right across the middle 
I'm going to glue the blue card directly onto that and then I'm going to put that right across here so that this blue comes right across where this blue adds on here. So first of all, I'm going to ink these panels and I'm going to ink those first because it doesn't matter so much if I go over this edge then because I'll be able to put the blue card on and that will keep it all nice and clean. Uh, I've got some, it's a kind of a turquoisey, pale turquoisey blue and I've got a rather small brush but because I just want to do sort of areas of it and leave the sky quite light. So I'll put a little pad down first, a little uh, sheet of, uh, well this is my little worksheet <laughs> and it keeps my desk clean and I'll just start inking. You can see there how I added the blue on just after I had inked this and then I've gone ahead and I have die cut these clouds and I was actually going to die cut the background one in um, vellum and then add some white card and then maybe even some white glitter but I really really loved the light feel of that uh, vellum when I did that. So a vellum can be notoriously hard to glue down and sh and have it sitting so that the glue doesn't show through but on a small area like this it's actually quite okay. I've tried it here already just to show you. Uh, put it just a tiny drop on and then spread it very very lightly with your finger and you'll not see it through there. Now you need to do the, the clouds and put them on here before you glue this down if you do want to cut these edges because you want to trim that off just right down here like this. That also gives you another little bit of cloud if you want to add that on somewhere else. But I'm going to go ahead then and add these pieces on. So the bigger one will go here just slightly over the edge there and then this one will go up here and I'll show you just how I did that. I'm going to glue this piece on. Now it looks as if you should actually just put it straight across there but whenever the card's sitting upright like this you'll see a bit of this above it. It's just an optical illusion so all I'm going to do is move this slightly up probably about half a centimetre, quarter of an inch maybe. You'll see, see what it is there. It's just that little bit and glue it on there. So the only piece that I need to put glue on is to have it on this part so it's just this area in behind here and then the same on here. got it to this stage then I can go ahead and make the little boat up. So I've cut out the basic boat shape with this die and I've cut it out in black and that just shows you all the areas that you can attach all these other pieces onto. I've cut the little this part. <laughs> I'm saying this part because I really don't know the names of these parts of the boat. So um, that just gets glued directly on top there. I've got a little cabin part which I've cut out in red satin card and I'm going to glue that directly up on the top there. It's very pretty isn't it? It's a lovely little boat. And then I've got this lovely little red stripe which is going to go across there. Actually it might be easier if I just put the glue directly across there in a very very fine line. I've got a bit of a frog in my throat today so I hope you can make my voice out but it's a bit annoying but it's not the worst thing could happen. And then when you're going to put the little sails on and <clears throat> put this one on first of all and that goes along there. You can attach it up at the top and then you can put some glue down at the corner here as well. So on the three corners there, there and there. And then this next little one gets glued on up at the corner here 
and then you'll put glue on the three corners again but one of these corners then gets glued right over here. And now I can attach that to my little card and I just want to set it there for a minute or two so that I can work out where I want to place the waves on the card as well. I've cut out the wave die then and you can see the little markings there where the crest of the wave goes on and then these are the pieces that go on there. So I've cut the wave out in blue card. I have just lightly inked the edges of it with the same shade that I used on the sky here and then I've cut out the crest of the waves in white glitter card. I thought that was really really lovely and you can see exactly where to put this on these little markings here. So that will go on there. And then this one will go on here. I'll actually just zoom you in, I think, and you can see that a bit better. So there's a little marking right across there. And you can line it up very easily with these areas here. And that will fit on there and there. And then that goes up to the top of the wave like that. And then this little one gets glued on up at the top here. that I want the little boat sort of centrally on here but I'm, I said I wasn't going to attach it just yet because I think I would like that little bit just in behind there and the boat to be in behind the wave but over the top of that little bit there so I'm centralizing the boat in this area but I just want to leave that little part there with no glue behind it until I attach that so I'm really only going to put glue on this part and then this part here cut out a second wave and made it in exactly the same way and glued it on there so that it overhangs the card and now I'm just going to chop this up like that and then I'll be able to have another piece here that I can add on on the other side possibly around about there and I'll have another look because I might even add another couple of waves on here and there through that but that's how you get uh, three waves out of two die cuts. I want to add a little bit of uh, contrast onto here so I've cut out the cloud dies yet again but this time I've cut them out in greens and I have inked around the edges of them too so you can see here how they just layer up really really nicely and I've put uh, contrasting colours this little area here you can actually see where it lines up and you just pop it on there but they don't have to be lined up just like that you can use them singly as well now I am going to put that one in the back of the card there, but I might actually just cut these and add them on just the way I have uh, for this, the clouds and the waves as well. So I might put a piece on here. I'll cut that first and then glue it so that the edge is right across there and the same along the other edges as well. And I might just add some of them singly, but all of them are inked just to give a little bit of extra dimension. really really love those little seagulls from the guiding light die set so they're there as well and I've used them in this card too I just couldn't resist them so I have cut them out in white and I have just colored the little wings in with a gray alcohol marker and now I'm going to glue some of them to the card as well So I've added the foliage on here and here and then the birds on here and I thought when the card stood up I needed an, a little extra wave down in below. So I just took the large wave that I already had and you can see there that I've trimmed along the top edge of it and just taken this little top part off. So I've just come with my scissors 
along the part that's right here and just follow that along and I've got that on below there. Sorry about my throat. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the card finished. I don't have the sentiments and the sentiments would be absolutely beautiful with that but for now that's the way I'm going to leave the card and I hope you've really enjoyed it. I think that's a perfect kind of card to send to a man. It's got lots of dimension, it has no flowers and things that might be off-putting but it's really really lovely. It's a lovely peaceful card that would do for a get well card or a thinking of you or something like that as well and also it folds flat for postage. You could actually alter the size if you wanted and you could make yours shorter if you wanted to have it that way. You could just uh, play around with it and have fun with that but I love the dimension in that one. Uh, the way it stands out like this and the background fits in really well there. I could have added more shading along here if I'd wanted to but just uh, make it whatever way you like it yourself and you could add a sentiment as I said as well. Don't forget to hold on to the end of the video because after this I'm going to have some lovely little footage of a little sailing trip on Belfast Lock in Northern Ireland and you will see in the background of some of it you can actually see at the back of Belfast Lock you can see the big cranes of the Belfast shipyard where the Titanic was built as well and I know some of you like to see things like that too. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you come back to see more. But in the meantime, happy crafting and thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.